What up, everybody? You know who this is. This is me, Trayvon Jones, Conscious Talk Channel, where I like to talk to you, my people. You know, do me a favor. I want you guys to uh, press that thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section, and if you are not subscribed to my channel, press that subscribe button. Press the thumbs up, you guys, because when you press the thumbs up, that allows other people to see my content, and it just works well with the algorithms of YouTube so that other people can um, see my... Uh, content but you know we all know about steve harvey we know he is a major simp cat williams was on the um club shay shay <laughs> show um about maybe a month and a half ago uh you know talking about different things and he also talked about steve harvey you know and they've had a problem with each other for a very long time we you know we know that steve harvey is a sellout. You know, he caters to black women. You know, that's his audience because that's where he makes all his money, especially with all the books that he's sold. That's who his core audience really is. And they love him. You know, black women love Steve Harvey. But with that being said, you know, he's always um, downing black men and basically telling black men how wrong they are all the time and how, you know, we need to get it together because we have to be responsible for these black women. Now, I was listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show, and he's always usually catering to women, but this time he actually surprised me. He actually said, you know, ladies, I'm always rooting for y'all and I'm always standing up for y'all, but right now I need to tell you ladies, you know, about yourselves. And basically what he was saying was, you know, a lot of women, black women overlook men's feelings, you know, and just appreciation and saying thank you and good job. And, you know, I really appreciate what you do. When you tell your man that, when you tell your husband that, when you tell your black man that, that goes a long way. It goes a long way when you are telling your husband, you know, I appreciate what you're doing for this family. I appreciate what you are doing for us. Thank you. That means a lot because as a man it's very difficult because you you never could really get it right because as a man if you are at home and you're spending time with your family you ain't working enough you're not making enough money you know uh, but if you are out you know working a lot and you making that money you ain't spending enough time with the family you know so before you get a lot of women who say things like well he don't he don't say thank you to me and he don't do this and do that. The reality is, is that a lot of black men and I, and I have to say black men because I'm only speaking to, to, my, to my people and my audience. You know, a lot of us, you know, we cater to our women and our children a lot. We cater a lot to to our women and children because we want our women and our children to be comfortable. But with that being said, you know. A lot of black men feel so unappreciated a lot of times. So it would make a big difference if you say thank you. But what I'm noticing online, and especially on TikTok right now, you have a lot of men who are on on this on this kick to giving black women back what what they give out. A lot of women over here talking about well, if you ain't making over a hundred thousand a year, if you can't open up the door for me, if you can't take me to a good restaurant, I don't want to go to Olive Garden or any of these other places, you know, that I deem cheap. If you can't pay for my hair and nails, you know, then you're a bum. So you have a lot of men that are giving that shit back and it's called the drizzle drizzle. <laughs> these men are letting these women have it on TikTok and these women on TikTok are getting pissed off and angry and trying to shut the whole thing down. But Men are just basically giving women back what they're giving us. And so that a lot of these women can hear how ridiculous they sound when they're telling men that they want them to make over $100,000 a year, that they are the table and that they need to be doing more. And, you know, all these type of things all the while, these women tell you, you're supposed to take care of me. You're supposed to take care of your kids. You're supposed to with no appreciation, no thank you, no nothing. Men will do practically anything for a woman and his you know his children 
especially when you're showing a man appreciation. That's such a big thing. And a lot of women feel so entitled, black women, feel so entitled that they don't feel like they have to do that. And with society today, it's just easier for them to just treat men like a commodity, like money. Just pay, you know, for this child, pay money, money, money. And a lot of men are just tired of that. You know, where a lot of men were settling for that for a long time, a lot of men are just over it. So even though we got this whole drizzle, drizzle thing going on where men are throwing it back in women's faces on how they talk to us, there are some men that are taking this shit seriously, you know, and you got a lot of men, you know, simp motherfuckers that are defending these women and saying, oh, no, I'm going to be a man and I'm this, 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 and that. But the reality is these women in America are out of control and they listening to white women tell them how to act towards us as black men. It's crazy. It, it's just, it, it's insane, you know. But one thing I can say about Steve Harvey, you know, he has always been a major simp. He's been selling people's jokes. And he basically lets you know that he was basically a sellout. He has let everybody know this from the beginning of his career, that he was a sellout. And he made it like a joke, but he meant every word of it. He meant every word of it. But sometimes people that pander and lie and all that kind of stuff, every once in a while they tell the truth. And in this particular case, he was telling the truth about how a lot of our black women just don't show appreciation to a black man. And just saying thank you and all that type of stuff will let a man know. And, you know, and that'll let a, make a man want to do more for you. He'll go above and beyond and do a whole lot more for you when you just act like you appreciate it. But this thing where these women are over there saying, well, I need a man for this. I need a man for that. But it's always I need a man for lifting, to mow my lawn, to fix this, put my door up, all these type of things. And men ain't trying to hear that shit no more either. Men don't don't want to deal with that shit anymore either, you know. If you can't show love and respect and, and show your appreciation to me, a lot of men are just saying, let me just go on and just continue with my passport and go find me true love somewhere else. Because where a lot of black women are not being married in America, surprisingly, a lot of black men are getting married. They are getting married. Isn't that a, a surprise? But then you got a lot of black women that are bringing all these children from other men into our community. You know, by white men, they're having babies with Latino men and Asian men and all these other men and bringing those mixed babies into our community. But a lot of the black men are actually getting married. Hmm. So it lets you know that it's not the, it's not the men. It's not us in large. It's not the black men at large. It's the black women with the problem. But Shout out to Steve Harvey. I, I still think he's a simp, but shout out to Steve Harvey for, uh, you know, defending men for it, for a change. I, you know, he just doesn't, he never does that, but he did this particular time on, on, on his radio show. So shout out to Steve Harvey for that. Do me a favor, you guys, press that thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all on the next video, family. Shalom.